Hi friends, today I want to talk about following your true path. I don't know if you know the quote by Einstein who says, if you measure a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will spend its whole life believing that it is stupid. What Einstein meant is that everyone is unique and measuring yourself to somebody else's standard is a surefire way of missing your greatest strength. And so when we think about our future, our passion, our purpose, our vision in life, it's very easy to, to compare ourselves to other people and think that we should become like other people, like idols, like uh, role models, and miss the powerful unique truth that exists within us already. This is a difficult question because when we're young, in our 20s especially, and we're grappling with these questions, figuring out what we're good at is difficult, especially when we compare ourselves to the best. There was a, um, I think a guy called Darren Lacroix, he, he was a world champion in public speaking, and uh, many years before this, he reached this point, he decided that he wanted to become a comedian. And of course, when you decide to do something like that, you compare yourself to whoever is best at that. And he compared himself to Jerry Seinfeld. And he thought, I'll never be able to be a comedian like him. He's way too good. You know, look at me now, my skill level and, and, and where <laughs> and then Seinfeld is at. There's, there's too big a gap, right? Like, how do I get there? And he asked his family for advice, and they said to him, oh, you're, you're not funny at all. <laughs> and um, he was pretty downcast, but then he asked the comedian for advice, and the comedian said, you know, you need to compare yourself to people who are at your level, people who are just starting out. So go to an open mic night and uh, do some comedy there, and you'll, you know, everyone there is shit. <laughs> They're just starting out. They're learning. So go there where people learn. And so he went, and he the first time he didn't, Form, he just watched and uh, he thought to himself I could do that I could drool on myself for five minutes and it doesn't look so difficult when you when you look at the one step above you so he went and did an open mic night and he was terrible at it he wasn't when he did you know I think he said people laughed once and but he, he said that was enough he took that one piece where people laugh and he figured out how to expand it and do more of that and over time he learned and he became a, a comedian and, and as I said before, a world champion in public speaking. So as you think to yourself, what am I really good at? What is my true purpose in life? What is my unique skill? What is my unique contribution to the world? Um, think about what it is that you enjoy, what gives you power. I think about what I call your peak experiences. Those are the experiences in your life where you feel the most powerful, like you're making the most impact, and work on that. And when you compare yourself to other people and where you want to go in the future and improve, don't compare yourself to the best. Compare yourself to the people who are just a little bit better than you or who are at your level. And then work upwards from there. Um, many people have said that to achieve true greatness in life, you have to spend your whole life working at it. And you know you don't become a world expert at one thing by deciding on it and six months later you're the ex you're the best in the world you just you, you do it by deciding on it and then working at it for 10 years and after 10 years you'll be the best in the world so um that's just something that 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 i think uh, what i'm thinking about at the moment um, and that sort of made me take some decisions in my life right now that are very long term um and that that might seem a little bit far away but they're just about making that having that understanding that things are developed over time and by pursuing something um, over a longer period of time and um, i've understood my unique strengths are um, listening to people uh, teaching people um, understanding complex uh, ideas and simplifying them and when i pursue that line of thought and those skill sets down the road i, I understand that what would be a a great career for me would be a, a um, professor in business. And so that's just that understanding um, 
of how you develop your unique contribution. I, there's no idol I have in mind that does that the way I have thought of it for me, but uh, it makes sense. It makes sense for me. And there doesn't mean I don't have idols. I do have idols. They're um, sitting here on my wall. Um, people like Seth Godin, Richard Branson, Elon Musk. Um, they're idols. I, they inspire me and they have certain attributes that I want, but I don't want to become exactly like them because that's not me. I want to become the best version of me. And, uh, and that's what, that's what drives me. So yeah, I'm curious, um, what the best version of you is. If you'd like to share, um, post a comment. I'd be interested to read it. All right. See you tomorrow.